So the first step is to assemble the stabiliser and the extension together. Or, if you're not going to use the extension, then you obviously assemble the stabiliser to the normal fuselage. But the process is exactly the same, whichever you're doing, because these two pieces are identical in terms of the way that they fit together. So, but I'll show you both anyway. The first thing to do is to figure out which way up this goes. And you can do that by lining up the holes. You can see that the Allen key only fits in one way and you need to line up these holes. The hole for the grub screw where the Allen key goes in and the hole in the, in the fuselage that allows you to push the Allen key into it. So once you've figured that out, and you can sort of see here that I've got the stabiliser, if I just move the stabiliser, so this is like, in its up, these are the upturns, and you can see that, that that's the alignment for the holes. So the rear hole lines up with the stab. So that, that basically shows you you've got the right, everything the right way up. So then the next thing is you've got to make sure that the grub screws, which you can you can wind out. You need to make sure that when you assemble it, they are wound in completely, or else you won't be able to get the the prong on on the extension or on the original into the into the stabilizer fuselage. So once you've done that, you can then just push it together. It's a pretty tight fit, but it goes in nicely. And you can see you've got a hole there. And what you're going to do is put this bolt in the hole. And then the tricky bit is in here, you've got a screw slot. And so what you need to do is to drop in this bolt and then use a really long torque screwdriver to get in there to tighten it up. So I'm just going to do that now. It's actually not so hard. You need to wiggle it around a bit. Not sure if I can do this on camera. There we go. Can't really see that, but it is in there. So you just do that up pretty tight. You can sort of feel the force when it's done up. That's good. So that's now the extension um, assembled. And the last thing to do is to then put your alum key in the grub screw holes and you should be able to wind those up. And this is your adjustment. So you really want to watch the Levitas video to see how you make that adjustment. But actually, once you've tightened these grub screws up on both sides, what happens is that they lock the prong onto the fuselage, so make this incredibly rigid. So it is important that you do make this adjustment both on the extension, but also on the uh, also on the on the fuselage. So then the next step is to assemble the uh, the front wing fuselage component to the extension, or perhaps if you're not using the extension, what you would be doing is is assembling the front wing fuselage with the stabilizer fuselage whatever the process is exactly the same as i'm going to show you now so and it's exactly the same as we've just done actually so i guess the key difference is that the grub screws when you're using the extension have a have the ability to extend out a lot more so you can you can only wind them a couple of turns when they're inside the carbon tube when they're in the extension, because of the way it was manufactured, they, they extend really right out a long way, like, like so. So the challenge is not really assembling it. That's quite straightforward. The challenge is knowing how many turns that you've made on each grub screw. Obviously, there are grub screws on, on either side. Because if you put a different number of turns on one or other of the grub screws, you essentially a, um, alter the angle of attack 
of the stabiliser, which you might want to do to experiment with, but at least initially you'll want to try and get it exactly the same and exactly straight. So um, the way that I generally do this is to count the number of turns or half turns with my Allen key um, after I've assembled it so that I know that I've got the exact same number of turns on both grub screws. And then I also put a straight edge along it as well just to double check that it is uh, absolutely um, in line with the mast front wing connection. So to assemble this, we'll see, make sure you've got it the right way up. So I've got my stabiliser down tips this way. So you just slot it together, it's at quite a loose slot, it's quite a loose uh, fit to begin with. And then um, I'm going to put in my bolt nut and then flip it over. Whoops, came out. I'll try again. And then just do up your bolt, which you can see goes into the into the back of the mast recess. So, and this is gonna bring the whole two pieces together. You might find that you need to actually adjust this a little bit to do that. And you want to get this done up pretty tight and the, the Revit has, um, website has some sort of assembly instructions, so you might want to refer to those. So that's already pretty tight, actually. But what we're gonna do now is extend the grub screws out. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do that completely, but I'm just gonna show you roughly how you do that. So, so you put your alum key into the extension alum key slot, and then you just uh, wind out your grub screw. And you need to figure out which way you need to wind each grub screw to extend it. And again, this is explained on the Levitas video, um, but and it's worth maybe actually doing this with the Levitas video open. It, it's quite easy to get it wrong, and it can be, uh, I find it a little bit confusing to start with, even though I actually manufactured this thing. So it's obviously the same principle with the, with the rear stabiliser fuselage as well. So no, it's just, you just need to kind of pay attention to that. Once you've done that up, it's, it's really completely rigid and is like a solid piece of metal. So the grub screws increase the rigidity of the foil and alter the angle of attack of the stabiliser. And that's essentially your whole glider assembled. The only, what, perhaps one last thing to mention is you'll see that I've sent you two different size alum keys and the larger alum key goes with the prong or, or the levitas prong on the mast front wing connector so that's there and the smaller one goes on the extension connector um, just because they use slightly different size grub screws so you just need to be aware of that you won't be able to use the small one in this hole, it'll only work in that hole. Okay, hope that was helpful.